This video will discuss the ulnar collateral ligament repair in a middle-aged female who presented with several months of persistent pain and weakness of pinch. There was a palpable uh, mass on the ulnar side that was consistent with a stenter lesion, and the surgical plan was to reattach the ligament after uh, freeing it up from scar tissue. This was done with a local anesthesia and sedation. We see here we exsanguinated the limb and we use a lazy S incision that begins more dorsally proximally and then curves down to the uh, palmar aspect in order to simulate the course of the collateral ligament which usually passes in an oblique manner. Here we protect and dissect out the uh, dorsal uh, ulnar sensory nerve. In this case we are retracting it to the palmar side. Here we note the marked scarring of the adductor aponeurosis and the laxity to ulnar-sided stress consistent with the detachment of the collateral ligament. As we divide the aponeurosis, we note that it is markedly adhered to the underlying ligament and uh, careful tenolysis is essentially uh, necessary at this stage in order to free up the tissues from the critical collateral ligament. At this point, we identify that the ligament is detached distally, as usually occurs on the ulnar side, and a limited capsulectomy will be done as well to free up scar tissue uh, that is surrounding the ligament. The ligament itself here is uh, noted to be uh, somewhat friable, since this was not uh, very acute, and one need to, needs to protect the soft tissues uh, in order to maintain some integrity of the collateral ligament remnant. A rondeur is used to make a uh, trough in the uh, base of the proximal phalanx where we will reattach the ligament at its insertion site with an anchor. In this case we used a uh, a suture type uh, anchor which uh, has no metal implants and uh, allows for uh, resorption over time plays the role of reattachment without needing to create uh, drill holes or tie this over a button. Here the suture is being passed through the end of the ligament which will be sutured down towards the area of the bony trough that was created. Uh, here the second limb of the suture is, um, is passed. And as we place tension on it, uh, we can see how we bring the ligament back down to its insertion site. It is important to hold the MP joint in a neutral position, perhaps with a slight amount of ulnar uh, deviation in order to minimize uh, stress on the repair site. Many times we will add additional suture uh, particularly uh, dorsally, to provide a bit more uh, strength. Uh, in this case, we also uh, repaired the uh, capsule uh, because of the quality of the ligament. This gave some augmentation to the repair. Once this is done, we can stress the area and ensure that the collateral ligament is uh, anatomically uh, playing its function. The adductor aponeurosis is now uh, repaired uh, over uh, the, the uh, ligament repair, and here we determine that it is uh, stable. The skin is simply closed in one layer using a, a vicrorepeed uh, bioavailable suture so that once the patient is immobilized, we do not need to remove uh, the sutures. These are uh, oblique horizontal mattress stitches. The patient is placed into a thumb spike uh, plaster splint. Uh, she will then be converted to a cast for five weeks. She should have a good uh, result over three months. Thank you for your attention.